That's cool. Let's put that thing on. Hey, what's up? I'm Joe, for those of you that don't know. Hang on, I'll be right back. Howdy friends, I'm Joe, for those of you that don't know. And today, I'm gonna finish up the tank. I got all my fittings, except for one. I'm missing one piece, which should be here today. So that's, that's actually the key to the whole thing. But in the meantime, I can get everything to that point done. Um, so like I said, today we're going to do uh, some valves on this thing so that I got some water for the fires. Um, here in California, they like to call them public safety power outages, which means uh, if the wind blows, they'll turn the power off. Um, so, yeah. And then we don't have any water because we live off a well. So... Anyway, enough talking. Let's get started. Things first, Teflon tape. On, I'm using galvanized fittings because I didn't want to use plastic because I was afraid of it breaking, you know, or something climbing on it and it snapping. This should be strong enough to make it through. So first thing, put it on there um, and then hold it so that the roll is kind of facing the fitting. It's easier to show than explain and then wrap it around. About four wraps, and then rip it. And that way, when you put on your fitting, you're usually going to turn it this way, which will tighten the Teflon tape as it goes on. And the next thing is I'll add. Uh, pipe dope or pipe thread compound as it's known. I just do both because it's definitely a good seal. Um, once this thing's filled up, it's going to be expensive to fill it up, you know, run the well for a week. And so I just don't want to uh, have any leaks <laughs> and then have to, because there's no way to stop it once it's full. Being my valves are going to be these are the valves. There it is. So this is two inch pipe. Um, when I got the tank, it had this two inch bulkhead. And so I'm gonna keep it that way. So I'm not gonna over tighten this one yet because once I start putting all my other fittings on, it's gonna wanna turn too. So next up, I'm gonna do a T. See how that one's turning there? Okay. Then I'll do what they call a, a, a short nipple. Oh, don't forget. Don't be afraid of it. Okay, again, I won't tighten that too far. I'll hold off on my valve for right now, but let's put another T on. What I'm doing here is just adding a little bit extra, just for future, because I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with this <clears throat> tank. I mean, I know it's gonna be used for fire suppression, just a water storage, just to have it. But I also, at some point, want to get a solar well pump. And this would be nice to keep this thing topped off and also use it for um, gravity feed irrigation. So I'm just adding some extra valves here.
I know it's somewhere. Ah, finally. Okay. So this piece is pretty cool. This is a two inch by one inch hex bushing. This, I'll show you here in a minute what this will be used for. But like I said, this is just a little extra just to give me options down the road. So I always end up changing my mind and wanting to do something different. <clears throat> Screwed the pooch on that one. <laughs> Alrighty, learn from my mistakes. I know better. So I want to tighten this up, this assembly up before I put that on so I can turn it. So I don't want to tighten this any further, so I'm gonna back it up. So I'll just put a pipe wrench on there to hold that where it is and keep going to town on this one. Alrighty, that's tight. Alright, so being that I threaded this on and then had to take it off and retape it. So the main purpose of the Teflon tape and compound is to fill the voids and the holes that you're, because if you just went straight thread, metal to metal, there'd be voids and gaps and stuff in between the threads and this kind of fills it in. Actually it doesn't, it kinda it does. Oh, well, I found that thread easy. So like I said, I'm adding a bunch of extras. <clears throat> so this will be fun. One inch, um, six inch nipple. And then I'm gonna put a spigot, a hose spigot on there. If I ever need a hose, just a little, you know, three quarter inch garden hose. It's there, it's done. Okay, so this part that I'm waiting on, I went to my local fire department and asked them if they were to show up to a fire, what would they, what hose would they pull right off the truck? And my local fire department told me that they're gonna grab inch and a half uh, fire hose, two inch ball valve. This one's an Amazon brand. Um, you can definitely see the quality isn't there. And then I decided to go and get a, you know, a plumbing supply store has them. And this is just, just a way better valve. It's just, you get what you pay for. So I'm gonna take the handle off just so it's not in my way while I'm trying to put this thing together. So you'll notice while I'm tightening the valve, the nipple will turn which is what you want. You don't necessarily want to tighten this and then put this on because that gives you a little bit more freedom in case you need to get that extra, you know, half turn. Or... Plus you're not going to over tighten it because this will stop and then that'll continue. All right, 
quarter turn. Oh, I think I can get one more. Oh, that's tough. It's a tough decision. Let's go for it. Yes. I got my helper. Hi. What you doing? You gonna help daddy? Okay, this is the valve, Olivia. This is the one. Did you say hi? Say hi. Alrighty, my buddy just showed up and brought me the part I was looking for. So let's finish tightening this up. Perfect. Alrighty, so this was the key. This thing is awesome. Focus, there it is. So this is a two inch uh, galvanized by inch and a half fire hose thread. That's cool. Here, let me show you. This, and this is a fire hose. Oh yeah. That's cool. Let's put that thing on. Oh hey! Alrighty, that's fun. Now there's one more thing I want to add because I got a two-year-old. That's a cap on my spare valve. I'm worried about her coming over here and playing with it, so this will just be a good little safety. Good job cleaning it out. Help daddy tighten this up. Thank you. Alrighty, that should be tight enough. Let's put these handles back on. So these can go either way, like this or like this. I think I got clearance here. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on the inside. Oh, yeah. All right, baby Olive, we did it. Mm -hmm. High five. All right, let's go fill up the tank. Let's get some water. You want to wash your hands? Your hands are all dirty? We can get your hands washed. That shouldn't take too long. Maybe about a week. You feel? <laughs>